going on season. here, Doc? But, uh, I watched the full let's play of it, and I enjoyed watching it, so that was really cool. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. <laughs> this is so dumb. Mm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Uh. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. <clears throat> Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. <laughs> I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Alright, I'm going to make trouble for you now. Alright, guys, well, I think we're going to continue this uh, in the next part because... Yeah, it's kind of late for me and I need to do some stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys next time with the next part. Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Back to the Future Episode 3, uh, Citizen Brown. So last time we left off, we just started this up and uh, I know that the video is going to be weird. It's going to be like, alright, I'm done and then I'm starting back up again. But that's because uh, when I was editing, I didn't want to make like a really long video, so... Yeah, I don't know where to go. I think the clock tower was it? Oh yeah, you can run in this game. I don't think I, I think this is the first time I've ran in this game. I gotta talk to Doc. There's always the direct approach. Hill Valley Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? No, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. <laughs> Biff? Doc? I need to talk to you. We could have run. All right. Now I probably will be going through this uh, episode really fast because I've played it a bunch, and this is my least favorite episode Biff? out of all of them. But it's still good. Hey, you're you're George so, and Lorraine's uh, youngest. Yeah, I'm gonna Martin, take right? As fast as possible. What? You don't know me. Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. 
You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. <laughs> you a you butthead? You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. <coughs> All right, so uh, basically... Let's, let's change the subject. One second. Thanks. <laughs> I don't like talking about my old, nasty self. So what we're supposed to do is just do a bunch of bad things. <sighs> so that we can get FaceTime with Doc. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. All right. So, all right, well, there's Jennifer. What's Jen up to now? So let's go see uh, Jennifer. Oh, this guy. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's. Okay. Okay, it's loading. I thought it froze. Um... Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? Leech and the whoosh bags. Never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. <laughs> Sorry I'm not talking much, it's just... I don't need to talk with these other people talking. Um... Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with <clears throat> Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. 
No, really, this crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me, unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? You know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think, but after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoriteest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! <laughs> what do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend? Oh, lighten up. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. <laughs>